Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming MLS Cup playoffs, which kick off later this month and go through the month of December. Now, MLS is in its 26th season and is about to crown another MLS Cup champion as we go into the postseason, which should be another exciting playoffs uh, from the American and Canadian Soccer League. Now, if you are not necessarily familiar with MLS or wagering on MLS, we're going to talk about a few things, uh, including the futures odds coming up for the MLS Cup tournament. And also, we're going to take a look at uh, a few of the, uh, I guess you could say, the things to know um, about the MLS Cup playoffs and uh, the teams going into this postseason. So as you can see there, though, we've got the Z Code System blog opened up and we've got some NHL picks there for the 14th of November. So if you are an NHL better, why, by all means, get over there, read up about the picks that we have and also use all the tools on the VIP if you are a VIP member. And if you're not a VIP member, well, by all means, you need to go over and sign up today so you can get all the tools from Z Code System that will help you make smart wagers on the sports that you love. All right, we're going to talk about the MLS Cup playoffs coming up, and we're going to talk about a few of the key dates that uh, we're going to have with the MLS Cup playoffs. Uh, but first, when we start this out, let's take a look at the bracket for the upcoming MLS Cup playoffs as 14 teams will be competing for the MLS Cup. Okay, guys, as you can see there, we've got the MLS Cup bracket for 2021 powered by Audi, and that is the MLS Soccer com website that I'm just using right here. Great blog, or excuse me, great bracket uh, that it has there for us to have a look at uh, to get the information on the teams that are going to be playing in the MLS postseason. <clears throat> now, as you can see, we've got round one uh, there with the MLS Cup playoffs, and we've got, uh, what is that, six teams there competing in round one, one team in each conference getting a bye, uh, we've got the Colorado Rapids, who finished first in the Western Conference. They're getting a bye into the conference semifinals. New England getting the bye there in the uh, in the Eastern Conference, and they will uh, play in the conference semifinals against the winner of New York City and Atlanta United. Now, New England did win the MLS Supporters Shield Trophy at the end of the regular season. Now, the Supporters Shield Trophy goes out to the team with the best points total after the regular season. Uh, or at the end of the regular season, I should say, and Bruce Arena's team collected that. Now, it should be noted that the winning the Supporters' Shield does not guarantee a team to be MLS Cup champions. Now, only seven times in Major League Soccer's history has the MLS Cup, excuse me, the MLS Supporters' Shield winner gone on to win the MLS Cup. And I believe the 2017 season was the last time that happened when Toronto FC went on to win the MLS Cup. So, you know, you might want to, uh, you know, have a second thought about wagering on New England just because they had the best regular season points total. Now, a lot of the times in the MLS Cup playoffs, it's the team that gets the hottest at the right moment. And that could be any one of these teams. Now, having a bye in the first round can keep that number one seed from actually having the momentum that they need to go on and win the MLS Cup. So you might favor one of these other teams that are playing that extra game uh, before uh, getting to the conference semifinals. Now we're going to take a look at uh, the odds in just a minute for the teams coming up. But uh, as you can see there, uh, we're going to see the MLS Cup playoffs kick off on November the 20th uh, with the first round. Uh, second round will kick off on the 25th. And then we will have the, the third round or the conference finals uh, on December the 4th, kicking off then. And MLS Cup will come to us on December the 11th. So we're going to have a lot of really good MLS soccer coming up over the next uh, maybe three, four weeks there. Uh, so it should be a really exciting time. And MLS is one of the things that they're doing this year is they're giving uh, fans matches over the Thanksgiving holiday there in the U.S. Uh, so that should be uh, a lot of fun uh, for people who are, are big soccer fans there in America. Now, one of the things to note about the MLS Cup playoffs is this year that it's going to be a straight single elimination tournament. Uh, rather than having um, a two-legged series like you would see in the Champions League knockout stages or like they did in the past in MLS, they're just going to have a one-off 
playoff. Uh, these matches will all be one-off games. Uh, if the matches are level at the end of 90 minutes, they will go to a 30-minute overtime with two 15-minute halves. And again, if they are still level on scores, they will go to play. Uh, excuse me, they'll go to penalties after that. And the higher seed will host the game for each round of the playoffs. And uh, you know, if New England makes it all the way, then they will be hosting the games there at uh, Gillette Stadium. If this is is it still called Gillette Stadium? Uh, there in, in uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts. So uh, that is a little bit of info to give you on that. Now, let's take a look at the betting odds here for the MLS Cup playoffs. Okay, guys, as you can see there, Bruce Arena's New England Revolution are plus 330. Excuse me. So as you can see there, guys, New England Revolution, Bruce Arena's team is plus 330. 333 uh, going into the MLS Cup playoffs, and they are the favorites with Colorado Rapids at plus 450 and uh, coming in as second favorites. Now, the Rapids, as we noted a minute ago, they finished second in, uh, excuse me, they finished first in the Western Conference behind the New England Revolution. Okay, guys, as you can see there, we've got the betting odds courtesy of Bet365, my favorite sports book, and uh, the New England Revolution are the favorites going into the the MLS Cup playoffs. Colorado Rapids are second favorites at plus 450. And as we saw just a little bit ago with the brackets, Colorado Rapids finished first in the Western Conference while New England finished first in the Eastern Conference. Now, I am a stickler in any sport it is that the for the best team in the regular season to make it all the way to the finals. Um, I am not one who enjoys seeing the underdogs in the playoffs necessarily make it to the finals because I don't think that's justice. Uh, that's me personally. Um, but in MLS, we often see teams playing good enough to get into the playoffs and then turning it on in the playoffs to win the MLS Cup. And as I said before, only seven times has the team with the best points total gone on to win the MLS Cup with the Toronto FC, I believe in 2017, being that team, the, the last team, to do that, to win the MLS Cup after having the best points total in the regular season. Now, we've got uh, some really difficult teams, excuse me, some very strong teams, I should say, uh, in the MLS Cup playoffs. Kansas City, uh, I really like Kansas City and the way that they play. You can never count out the Seattle Sounders. They're always there or thereabouts in the MLS Cup playoffs. Uh, and also, Atlanta United, you've got to keep an eye on, uh, had a very difficult year, very strange year, uh, sacking Gabriel Heinze or uh, mid-season and, uh, you know, kind of changing things halfway through, a lot of chopping and changing there. Uh, they're a team to really keep your eye on here in the MLS Cup playoffs. Uh, one team that you might uh, think twice about betting on is the New York Red Bulls, who really slipped up towards the end of the season and uh, fell down the pecking order there in the playoffs barely eking in there at the end uh, of the playoffs. Vancouver Whitecaps, great story there. They were unable to play in Canada early in the season. Uh, they were they were playing in Salt Lake City uh, for part of the year before they were able to get the all clear uh, to go back to Vancouver to play home games uh, after you know all the, the things with COVID. Um, and they've ended up getting into the playoffs after having a, a bit of a sluggish start because they had no home there at the beginning of the season. So maybe another team to keep your eye on. Philadelphia Union, uh, who won the Supporters' Shield last season, uh, if I can remember that, if I remember that correctly off the top of my head, uh, they uh, are fourth favorites to win the MLS Cup. And a team, you know, again, keep your eye on those teams. And like I said, MLS playoffs are always about the team that is the hottest at the moment uh, and the team that can build momentum at the right time. So definitely, definitely want to watch that. And I'm sorry, that's why I cannot bet on the New England Revolution to win the MLS Cup. Uh, just because they had the best points total during the regular season, I don't think that they can pull it off and win the MLS Cup this year. All right, guys, before we go today, I just want to show you one other thing before you make your wagers on the MLS Cup playoffs this season. Okay, guys, of course, you know what this is. This is the Z Code VIP Club. And if you're a member, you've got access to this every time that you want to make a wager on a sporting event, whether it be soccer, tennis, hockey, esports, whatever it is, go over to Z Code Systems VIP Club and you can get great information from all of the data that we have and we crunch and the numbers that are there before you make your bets. And one of the tools that I have to say you've got to use, especially if you're betting on the MLS Cup playoffs, is the Soccer Buddy tool. 
Now, this is just an example of the Soccer Buddy tool that you can use every day to wager on soccer whenever you want to make winning profits and winning bets. Uh, all you have to do is go and find the league that you want to wager on. So today is November the 11th, and I am just going to pick the Brazilian Serie A uh, with one game going on there today between Bahia and Flamingo. And you can get this data all ready to go. You can get some hot trends if there are, and you can get all this different information to help you to help you make better wagers on soccer games. Now, this is, comes from all the data that we crunch at Zcode System, and you will be able to get this with your membership. Uh, of course, we do give our picks at, at Zcode System, our soccer picks, using the via, uh, excuse me, using the Soccer Buddy tool. So you'll be able to watch these videos here on YouTube and get the picks when we show them from time to time. And if you ever need to know how the Soccer Buddy tool works, you can always just click on how it works, read about it, and more importantly, watch the videos so you can get up to date on how we use the Soccer Buddy tool. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me today and our talk about the MLS Cup playoffs. Be sure to read up on the blog to check out anything that I missed and uh, be ready to bet and wager on the MLS Cup playoffs when they kick off later this month. All right, guys, good luck this weekend with your soccer, bet soccer betting, and I will see you soon here on Z Code System.